guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the movie The Marvels. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. So, here's my review for the movie The Marvels. Even though Kamala, Carol, and Monica had no idea what was going on when they were being transported to each other's locations while they were fighting the Kree in the beginning of the movie, and it was obviously hard for them, I still thought there were some pretty funny moments including Kamala's reaction to Goose the Flurkin. I also really loved seeing Kamala, Carol, and Monica working together to control when they transport to each other's locations. So when they had their final battle with Darbin, they knew what they were doing. Darbin was a complicated villain to me. On the one hand, stealing the air, water, and sun from other planets was horrible, but she only did it because the supreme intelligence being destroyed caused the planet Hala to lose its air, water, and sun. So it showed that she cared about her planet and the other Kree. She just didn't go about it the best way. It also showed the kind of person that Carol is when even though Carol promised Darbin that she would restore Hala's son, Darbin still fought Carol, Kamala, and Monica. But after Darbin was defeated, Carol still restored Hala's son. I loved Kamala and Monica's reaction when Carol took them to the planet Alanda and they met Carol's husband, Prince Jan, which Carol explained was a marriage of convenience. As someone who loves musicals, I'm sure I would love to be on a planet like Alanda, since all the people there communicate by singing, except Prince Jan, who's bilingual. I also thought it was really funny when Carol, Kamala, and Monica were introduced as the Marvels, and Kamala was really excited since she came up with the name, but Monica was wondering how the Marvels were already a thing. After seeing WandaVision, I have been wondering what happened between Monica and Carol. Since in Captain Marvel, when Monica was a little girl, she looked up to Carol. But in WandaVision, whenever Carol was mentioned, 
Based on the way Monica would react, it was clear that something had changed. At first, I was wondering if Monica was mad because Carol never came back to visit Maria while she was dying from cancer. But in the Marvels, we see a flashback that shows Carol did visit Maria while Monica was blipped. So it made sense when it was revealed that the reason Monica was upset was because Carol never came back like she promised after destroying the Supreme Intelligence. And we found out that Carol couldn't face Monica after destroying the Supreme Intelligence caused damage to Hala. So it was really heartwarming when Monica told Carol that she didn't care about that. She just wanted her aunt. I loved Kamala's family when I saw Miss Marvel. So I was really happy to see them again in the Marvels. I also really loved the side story with Kamala's family and Nick Fury on Saber. The scene where the Flurkins were eating everyone on Saber so they would be able to fit everyone on the escape pods while the song Memory from the musical Cats was playing was perfect and also really funny. It was really sad when Monica got stranded in an alternate universe, especially since Carol tried to get to Monica before the hole closed, but was too late. Even though we don't know how long it'll be until it happens, I can't wait to see Carol and Kamala reunite with Monica. I'm also looking forward to the next time we see Monica, since based on the mid credit scene, it looks like Monica is going to join the X-Men. I loved that the movie ended with Kamala starting to put together the Young Avengers, starting with Kate Bishop. But Kate should really think about changing her locks since this is the second time someone she didn't know broke into her apartment. The first time being Yelena. The mid credit scene is also making me excited for the X-Men since Monica woke up in the alternate universe she's now in and met Binary, who's an alternate version of Monica's mother, Maria, and also Hank McCoy, aka Beast. I'm sure it'll be a lot for Binary to take when Monica explains to her that in the universe she comes from, a version of Binary is her mom.
even though Kamala and Carol do end up becoming friends, something that I really loved about this movie is that it showed that people you might put on really high pedestals aren't perfect and that there's a good chance that they have made mistakes in their life but that doesn't always mean they're a terrible person. The important thing to remember is that we're all human and none of us are perfect. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the Marvels, let me know in the comments what you thought about it and if you want to see any of my future videos hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!